or how biased the, the how biased the news media is. Well, guess what? You know, they're they're trying to make this uh, 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 you know with the way you talk about the the Ducks game and uh, ESPN trying to make the e the East versus the West. Well, here we go again, the race car. Here we go again. You know, I'm I'm yeah. I'm sick of this. I am so sick of this crap. Why can't they just say the the best of the best and just call it that way? Call you know if they got if they got Oregon if they got the say Oregon players, USC players. You know, we have we got the the, the West Coast is a, a better team than the East Coast is. I hate to say that, but you know what? It is true because that's what we have here. We look what we did with with the Seminoles. The Oregon Ducks. What is it they did to them? They just they, they just slaughtered them. They annihilated them. They shut them down. And we said and we predicted this that this is going to the Seminoles are going to lose and then the Ducks are going to win. We said this and guess what? ESPN called us a racist. They called us because we we're for Mariota because Mariota is a um uh, is a guy from uh. uh from uh, from Hawaii, so he's from Hawaii. You know, we don't. He's American. He's an American player here. That, he's a nice guy. We actually talked to him. He's a nice guy. He really is. There's no races about this, and they're trying to and they're trying to make the race card. You know, because the, the Seminoles are the Indians, and you got Mariota. Mariota is, uh, is is Hawaiian. You know, they're trying to they're, they're trying to. Uh, create some kind of uh, race issue, and it shouldn't be about that. It should be good. It should be the best of the teams, not about the East Coast versus the West Coast. And that's what they're doing right now. And I'm sick of this crap. I am sick of these commentators who are telling us that the West Coast are not. They don't have the. They don't, they're not good enough. Or they're trying to say, oh, the the East the, the Ducks are going to lose against Ohio. You know. It is, they're, they're trying to say the East Coast is better than the West Coast. And they're still doing that. And I'm tired of it. I am sick of I don't it. Blame you. I don't blame you. It's not, and, and I'm not picking on the teams either. I'm picking on the commentators who are doing this from ESPN. I'm picking on them. They need to be, they need to be, they need to be, they need to get out of the broadcast business, just like Al Sharpton does too as well. Shut up, get the hell out of broadcasting. If you don't, if you can't, if you can't, if you can't report the, if you can't report news or sports anymore, get the hell out of broadcasting. I'm sick of these people. The true facts. Right, the true facts. I'm going to up on the radio every day and said, I want to say the facts. Our recovery is going great. Our recovery ain't doing nothing. We got 98 million people out of work, and we're talking about a five-point-something unemployment rate. Is he stupid or what? Well, actually, it's... No, uh, he thinks worse. We we have a you know as fourteen as four a uh, four hundred and uh, as four uh, sorry as uh one as hundred as a hundred and fourteen million Americans out of work right now. One hundred fourteen million Americans out of work. Oh, okay. Well, that damn sure ain't five percent of the population. Well, it's more like it's, it's more like it's twenty. As some states. Uh, Point of rain, California is thirty eight percent right now. Unemployment rate in California. Oregon is uh, still holding at twenty five percent. Washington State is eighteen percent right now. Eighteen percent because they raised the minimum wage fifteen dollars in Seattle. Fifteen dollars in Seattle, and people are only working three or four days a week now because of this. They're not working five days; they're only working three or four days because it's fifteen dollars per hour, and because of that, they only can work three or four hours per time per, per shift because of the fifteen dollar wage. Some people who think you're gonna raise the minimum wage to fifteen dollars and keep people working. How how is the business owner supposed to do that? Right. How is the guy supposed to sell a dollar hamburger when paying somebody fifteen dollars an hour? Ten dollars hamburger is what it is. Ten dollar hamburger in Seattle. Ten dollar hamburger. So um and because of this you gotta pay if you gotta pay also uh, the employees of Obamacare too as well. It's gonna be nad but get guess what? The Senate and the uh, and, and Congress are already gonna repeal Obamacare right. They even said that we're going they're gonna throw it out and they're gonna repeal it. And they're going to give us a tax cut. So we we are waiting for that to happen. We are just waiting. Go ahead. Don't hold your breath. 
Yeah. Those hoes did that because those black dogs ain't gonna do nothing. Daner should have been voted out, but guess what? Everybody's scared they might lose a, a, a position on a, on a group or something. Right. Just me. I, I mean, Daner's done absolutely nothing but bend over. It's a good thing Obama Go didn't come to a screeching hall because Daner would look like a picket news there at first. Well, he called Bone, yeah, he called Daner Bonehead, so you can call him. Hey, Mr. Bonehead. <laughs> Mr. Bonehead. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Congress and the Senate are a bunch of boneheads. Yep. They don't deserve to be where they are. That's true. They made $177,000 a year to do nothing. Yep. Absolutely nothing. Cowards, liars, the whole nine yards. You call them and, and they'll live up to it. Well, the best thing you can do is keep taxing them, keep emailing them, and just put a pressure on. And the only way to do that, you got to have Newsmax and also the National Review and also um, the, uh, the, the American the American Heritage Foundation, the American Spectator. And this is where I'm getting my news sources from. I'm not getting it from I'm not getting it from Fox News anymore. I'm done with Fox News. I'm done with it. I'm done with the blaze. I'm dumb because you know, as you know, uh, Lori Dew is on a blaze now. You know that, right? Lori Dew, went from, yeah, Lori Dew went from CNN to Fox News, and then from Fox News back on a blaze. So there you go. I mean, this is what's going on. It's craziness. It's just, it's, it's, it's nuts. It's stupid, but that's the way it is right now. And it's all about greed, money, power, control. That's what it comes down to: greed, money, power, control. And American people do not have money or control anymore. Uh, because of what's going on as administration, all they want to do is they're trying to squeeze every single, every single advertising dollar, like Affleck, Progressive Insurance. They are dealing with fundamentalist terrorists. These groups are do have Muslim terrorists within organizations, and that needs to be this needs to be stopped once and for all. And the only way to do that, you got to pass laws to make sure that we protect the the, the American. Bit, bit, small business owners, because we're the ones who create jobs, not the government. The government doesn't create jobs. They create, yeah, they create jobs. Since it's Solyndra, Solyndra. You want to keep, you want to keep having companies like Solyndra. Go, go, give your money to Capital One. Then, seriously, you give the money to Progressive Insurance. Give your money to Affleck. You know, become part of these organizations who are, who, who are. Who are fundamentally terrorists right now? Who are part? Who who are part of the problem? Not part. Not part of the solution. And that's what they're doing right now. These these people are just doing just that. And another one is Bank of America, J.P. Morgan, Chase Bank, and uh, also Sprint and Team uh, yeah Team Mobile and uh, and Comcast as well. And also with uh, uh, Direct TV, they're all confused. And having terrorists in their organizations. They like supporting terrorism. They do. These organizations support terrorism. I said it. There it is. If you, if you don't believe me, go look at the statistics. Go check it out. Go look at your. Go look at it for yourself. We have the report here. We do have it. And these people who are who are who are on the phone, they're coming from the they're coming from the uh, the, 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 the the Middle East. The Middle East, that's who they got for a phone service. So these people who are calling, uh, who are asking uh, for technical support, saying you got a problem with your phone or you got a problem with your service, they're getting, they're, you are calling the Middle East, believe it or not. They, and you're getting away with that. American taxpayer dollars. There you go. And where's Congress and where's the Senate on this issue? How come that has not been stopped yet? Good question. These are questions that should be brought up on charges of, of, um, of, of harboring terrorism in this country. And there's nothing being done about it. Why is that, Ron? Go ahead. 